Hello and welcome. This is Today in the News. Here are the highlights. Assistant Inspector General of Police attacked by gunmen along Kaduna Abuja Road. Gunmen attack Federal School of Statistics in Kaduna. Lautech student reportedly abducted, killed by abductors after collecting ransom of 5 million naira. PDP asks Federal High Court Abuja to disqualify Governor of Gombe State and his deputy. An assistant inspector general of police, Aldu Madaki, has been attacked by gunmen along the Kaduna Abuja Road. His oddly was reportedly killed by the bandits while there are fears that the AIG was shot on his leg. The incident was said to have occurred around Bade Zangidi community on Wednesday while they were on their way to Abuja to attend a meeting of senior police officers. Madaki is the AIG in charge of Zone 12 Police Command. Gunmen have reportedly attacked the Federal School of Statistics in Machok Kara local government area of Kaduna State. The rector of the school, together with two other people, have been kidnapped while another resident of the community is feared killed. The bandits reportedly stomped the community in large number on Tuesday night and shot sporadically in the air before abducting the victims. A family member of one of the kidnapped victims on Wednesday told newsmen the bandits have contacted them and are demanding a ransom of 15 million naira. The Kaduna State Police Command is, however, yet to acknowledge the incident. A student of the Ladoke Akintola University of Technology, Rachel Opadele, who was reportedly abducted recently, has been killed by her abductors after collecting a ransom of 5 million naira. The Lautech student was killed alongside a fellow hotel staff, Olubenga Owolabi, who was also reportedly kidnapped with the student. Opadele, before his demise, was a student of Lautech but was working at the hotel due to the ongoing academic staff union of university strike. The duo were said to have been abducted on 29th July 2022 at the hotel located in the Abba area of Obomosho. The People's Democratic Party and its Gombe state governorship candidate Mohamed Bade has asked the Federal High Court of Abuja to disqualify the governor of Gombe state, Mohamed Yahya, and his deputy, Jatao Daniel, from contesting in the 2023 governorship election for allegedly submitting forged certificates. The plaintiffs allege that the deputy governor bears multiple names in all his educational certificates without a deed poll and any valid change of name attached to his form EC9 submitted to INEC. The plaintiff alleged that the governor, by his INEC form CFO01, has stated under oath that between 1980 and 1990, he worked with AYU and Co Limited. However, in 2022, the governor stated again on oath via his INEC form EC9 that he worked with the same AYU and Co Limited from 1985 to 2003.